Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College. On this video, we're gonna talk about what's setting up for June. We are looking at the monthly charts every single month. The start of the month, we're looking at the new signals. Now, of course, you know me as the day trader. I'm day trading this challenge account. We've gone from 10,000, we're nearly up to 35,000 in two months. So a very nice 25,000 pounds profit in a couple of months, which is uh, working very nicely indeed. But I wanna talk about the monthly charts, and this is for you guys that are working out there um, that haven't got the time to sit at the charts in the morning session and trade off a five minute chart, because the monthly time frame gives us those big blue wow trades, those big trades that can last up to a year. Now, if you look at our ProTrain system and our systems here, this is the monthly signals we've had. These are the last monthly signals. And this is how incredible it is. If you look at the Euro dollar, we've had a short signal for 10 months. It's been going down for 10 months. So 10 months ago, we got a red PTS. It's up a thousand points, okay? Uh, pound US dollar up 851 in nine months. Dollar yen here up uh, 15 months. Uh, we've been long. Uh, it's up 1,592 pips, okay? So you don't have to sit there like I do in the morning session and trade for a couple of hours and make a day's money, you can use the monthly chart. So if we look at the Euro here, you know what we do here at Trading College, as you know, everything is red is for short, green is for long. It just makes it so much easier for you to see those visuals of the colors, giving you where the momentum is. And we are momentum traders. So on Monday night, we're gonna be sitting with our new students, our community, and we're gonna be looking at the last few days of the May candlestick, because the new June candlestick, we're gonna get new signals. And this could last months and months and months on end. Now, what we don't wanna do, and this is key, is that we don't wanna use a stop on the monthly chart, because the monthly chart stop is gonna to be too wide. To get a better entry and a great risk reward and get a big, better, bigger position size, we go down to the daily chart for our entry, okay? So monthly is the core, it's the big, big daddy of the technical uh, momentum on that time frame. So we know where it's gonna go maybe for the next, possibly for a year. Um, and then we go down to the daily time frame and we basically wait for the signal in that direction. So if we get a, like, so for this Euro here, we had a red PTS on the monthly, we looked for a red PTS to go short on the daily. A green PTS on the monthly, we look for a green PTS on the daily. Really, really simple stuff, guys. And this is a lot of stuff I've been doing for the day trading uh, account growth challenge, and um, it works really, really nicely. Monthly timeframes, we have all sorts of strategies on the monthlies. We have the ProTrend system buys and sells. We have two ways and three ways. You can tell you here, look, this is a big reversal. That is a big, big move from you know this area here, 107 up to 119. Okay, big, big reversal. Divergence reversals here as well. Reversals here that push the market up for several, several months. Even if you're in a trade for two months, you're gonna make some really nice returns potentially if the trade goes in your direction. So there's things that we also like to look at and we like to avoid peaks. Okay, so if you're on the webinar the other night, we're talking about peaks and reversals. You see the storyteller momentum indicator goes really high. When it gets peaky, we get the reversal. So we never buy at the highs up here because of the peak. We never get the troughs. We never go short down here when we get low momentum on the storyteller. This is fine because that's not very high. When we see those big highs, we know that it's, it, there's time to, to maybe look for another trade. So if you look at the dollar yen as well on the monthly, incredible move up. We had a momentum trigger, a green uh, storyteller, momentum move, and a green PTS. This went from 109 to 122. That's a big, big profitable trade, guys. But we're starting to peak a little bit. We certainly peaked here, and there's a trend line running through the highs here, which made this price roll over, but we met ProTrain system targets. So this is the sort of thing we're doing every single month to get ready for those big blue whale trades. And you could do the same thing in indices like the NASDAQ here, the tech sector, okay? So look at the peak, the peak on the story, the monthly chart, okay? So there's the monthly. You don't have to trade from the monthly. The monthly gives you the signals. 
that and the direction, the momentum, and then you're down to the daily chart looking at precision entries. Really easy to do if you apply yourself with these monthlies. Look at the look at the Nasdaq. Look how high it was. Sentiment was through the roof. It was going to come down. I mean, this is moving from 17,000 all the way down to 12,000. It's a big move, guys. Story told us, storyteller told us that it peaked out. Okay, so this is the sort of stuff we're looking for on a regular basis, Euro Yen. You know, we had some nice momentum three months ago. We're pushing up nice profits already in this market. And if you look at the, if you like looking at pretty colors and pictures on a chart, look at those three ways and four ways as the market comes down. We're on the lookout for a reversal back up. Look, as it makes a new high here, we're looking out for a reversal. Storyteller's giving us a divergence play, all right? So if you could see the bigger picture, you can have a really good idea of what's going to happen next using our systems or indicators or using your own ones. Let's have a little look at crude oil because oil has been obviously in the press. It's been an incredible, incredible market to trade. I mean, looking at the monthly time frame, which really is the core time frame, the big time frame, just look at it. The momentum shifted here. We went from $50 all the way up to $130 nearly. Now, as it continues, we, we might even get another month up on the Storyteller or another month up again for um, July. And then we would have peaked, just like it did here. Okay, peaked, I remember trading this, up to $147 a barrel, in fact, uh, on crude oil. And then things just collapsed, okay, in 2008. So we're doing the same thing again. We're into a bit of resistance. That's why we're stalling. If you like technical analysis, if you like systems, if you like momentum, and staying in trades for a long time and making a substantial return, then you've got to start from the monthly time frame, And you can get some absolute cracking trades going on here, guys, all right? So we've got some big trades setting up, ready for our students on Monday evening at Scan Club, getting ready for this next big blue whale trades that are gonna give us the profits in June. And you'll do little to make a very nice return and you, you know, you'll be surprised how little you have to do to grow the trading account for you swing traders. As a day trader, myself, as well as a swing trader, it is a different ball game. Day trading, you're in an hour, two hours, get, the, get your money and get out. Where with these big blue whale trades on the monthly, you are looking to stay in trades for a longer period. And if you're using a spread betting account, you may not want to use a daily funded bet. You may want to go to the next quarter, um, which has all the charges inside uh, built into that price already, where with the daily funded bet on a spread betting account, you're being charged overnight on your holdings. All right, guys, hope it helps. Uh, I'll speak to you soon. We're going to be diving into these charts on money. Come and join us here at Trading College. Speak to you soon.